Greetings and salutations, this is another run of Barry's Nerdsville. This video is a, just a res, like a response video to Channel Federer's, or Federer, uh, Federer video on six crimes, well, six, sorry about that, that's Facebook. Six moments that would get you locked up. Depicting the beast, be the beast, and being a hostage taker, along with Snow White being a home invader, to Timon and Pumba being child abductors, to Robin Hood being a thief, to being <clears throat> to various other points as well, but there are more crimes literally in the Disney, in the, the Disney, you in the that have been portrayed in Disney. If I can think of on top of the head, on, on top of my head, you've got to look at this is in The Lion King. Scar. I'm looking at across all the Disney University uh, villains and the heroes too. Firstly, uh, so Scar hired some some goons, some mercenaries to take out a king. Which is a crime called regicide. Regicide is a, is a fancy way of saying uh, a king killer, queen killer, or any sort of killer to do with like a royal family, or try and take out Mufasa and Simba, which is like a direct bloodline of lineage. Now. In some countries, Scar, unlike Simba in his, le in, in his less than um, vindictive manner, they won't let, they won't banish the person who committed, who committed, who killed the king and try to take out the first in line, if the king surpasses. A crime of that nature would get Scar killed for murder of the king and attempted murder of the prince. Also, the hyenas would get murdered as well for being accomplices to the fact, or be executed to the fact. <sighs> there, are, let's see another crime. Princess, Princess Anna. In Sven, in the movie Frozen, in, in a recent, more recent movie called Frozen, Queen Elsa built herself, and uh, you know this, the, this, uh, and ooh, ooh, hello, wall and ceiling and. Uh, Floor. <clears throat> all made of ice. And she made that castle all by herself. They <clears throat> went and they invaded a castle. <clears throat> or the, the case of um, invading of another nation. nation. That is classified as a war crime. But then it is hard to think of Princess Anna being anything but a hero. But yet, you look at it, you have to look at it closely. It is a an official from another land 
or, or from another castle invading someone from in another castle that is an invasion so yeah Anna and Sven you have a lot well Sven is more the foot soldier Anna is more the, the person in charge therefore also um that prince fella as well there's two invade invaders from two different kingdoms invading the the castle that Queen Elsa built. There's there's two examples of invading. Another crime, let's say the witch. In other words, let me just move things around like so to there. And oh. voila. Mirror, mirror, on the wall, who's the fairest of them all? That sort of... That sort... That wit, that... Evil queen, as it will. She looks deep into the mirror. See something go... The mirror tells her that it is no wife and... She goes battery crazy. I know ordering the murder of a subject was commonplace back in the er in earlier times, but that was with her command. That's like a command that someone in the kingdom should do in place of the queen. But yeah, we gotta look at the queen herself. In today's day and age, to do so, to hire someone to kill someone, is a crime. That That is a definite crime in, in the world. Then, the person who executed the, the job can also be classified, but can also be uh, instigated in this crime as well. But then, we go look at the queen even further, who, in this case, gave Snow White a poisoned apple, intent of murder. That is classified as grievous bodily harm. So there's two charges against the queen, that evil queen in Snow White. She also faked her identity. Let me see. Faked her identity. The first one. She hired a person to kill Snow White. That is a lengthy charge unto itself. Second crime is a she changed her appearance and also she faked an ID that's the second the third is the well, the third one can be pro making up a prohibited substance and fourth is attempted murder so there's four crimes in today's day and age that the Queen will be having to answer to Now, let's just see in the story of Robin Hood. There are two people in the wrong here. First and foremost, Robin Hood himself has been done too, too much and I will not This dead, this particular dead horse. Theft, home invasion, and and all that that's been done and dusted. But 
let's look at more of Prince John. He took in the throne via false pretenses. It's like a a vice president of a company if the president has been away for a long time not only assumes command but says that the that the president has died, that the president will not will not be coming back. And guess what? That is deception. That is that's virtually fraud that's a let's see. It's a corporate crime that Prince John has done. Let me see the rising up to taxes which in this case for the citizens to live in uh, the citizens of Nottingham since they've been taxed severely is a price hike in goods and the right to live in the house that's another thing that Prince John in the real world would be most a charge over False identification, well, falsely, falsely there's, another, there's a few crimes here, let me just go through them. First one, assuming control of a company, or assuming a position that is not rightfully his. Secondly, pre saying that the previous person who was in that position won't return and has, and has long since left. That's, an, that's another corporate uh, no-no. Thirdly, price unjust price hikes in the pr in let's see in the, in this case the real estate market, and this in this point we are looking at real estate fraud as well. The four things that Prince John is accused of, the sheriff on the other hand can be applicated as an accessory to the fact and himself be charged with multiple uh, real estate fraud you know real estate uh, fraudulent claims and things like that which will him he himself will be sent for will be in with a Robin Hood him and Prince John will be will be cellmates to Robin Hood him Prince John and Robin Hood will be in the same prison. If you want to look at that sort of thing. On the uh, on channel Predator, he made mention that the princes themselves who who lip locked against who lived up Snow White and uh, Sleeping Beauty as a sex crime. Oh, they are cold. He kissed them. There go a crime. But, let's flip the coin and, and watch it land on the other side. Well, he... If, with him spinning, flicking up, it landed head. I'm going to be doing the vice versa. I'm landing on tails, brother. This is fraudulent claims. This can be classified as fraudulent claims. Is it has been noted that these two individuals, through either a Poisoning of the body, poisoning of the body in any which way, either via a food, either via food, or via um, substance injected into the body that paralyzes the lungs. Both instances, also molestment, can be classified as uh, a person of interest 
of, of the person of interest or the person of notoriety for with the trick of the finger, you know, setting into motion an effect of a slight case of, of uh, regicide, which that, which everyone knows that she got killed at the end and she virtually serves her time. But now, let's look at the princesses here. Snow White as um, Sleeping Beauty. Both. Both may say, oh, cry right. But yet, really, they are criminals themselves. Falsely accusing someone of a crime they didn't commit. And that itself is a big no-no in today's day and age. Did they have evidence to back this claim of rape, of alleged rape? No, they don't. Their clothes were still on. Everyone's one instance is that they had a they had witnesses to the fact that the uh, Prince Charming giving that giving the accused the the person who was accusing Prince Charles um, Prince, uh, Prince Charles Prince Charming. I do apologize to Your Majesty Prince Charles for putting you in this, but I do again I apologize. Now let's back up look at the charming kind. There are seven witnesses to see to say that Prince Charming revived Snow White. Seven witnesses to say that man saved that woman as he breathed into her. Then the prosecution would have to say that it was premeditated and third party, second parties, or second party, all, all that stuff goes wrong. But really, who is in the wrong here? You know, wait. Who is really in the wrong in the second claim? Sleeping Beauty. Aha! The lawyer would say on Sleeping Beauty on Sleeping Beauty's case. Are you sure you didn't imagine it? That's all a lawyer can do, and things can go on from there. Get a bit messy, yada yada yada. And now let's leave that one alone. Another crime. Hmm. We can look at the in in Sleeping Beauty's case, the king and queen, the mother and the father of. No white, no so white of uh, Sleeping Beauty. Child abandonment. Though in the story, says though you see in the stories and like yada yada yada. Oh, the king and queen have sent their child to live with three, with three of these fairies who bestowed upon her gifts. Uh, let's just see something. Let's let me just prove something wrong. Melissa, Melissa, an all-powerful witch. Three fairies. Boom. Bye-bye fairies. Leaving what? Sleeping, Sleeping Beauty, all alone, defenseless against this per this, this witch. Didn't think of that. She still ended up being. She, she still ended up pricking her finger on. On a spinning wheel, and she slept. Slept. But really. The parents are royalty. The parents are the king and queen. They have. 
hundreds if not thousands of men in their army willing to fight for their daughter protection from domestic and foreign invaders but hey we don't want the witch Elizabeth to come back here we'll send our daughter away we will leave our children in the hands of fairies some might say hey that's that's good thinking witness protection but really they abandoned their daughter and also they destroyed an industry which can be classified underneath corporate uh, sabotage as well another crime as it will we can look at Captain Hook and Peter Pan being co let's just see something here the only adults in well, the only Western uh, adults in Neverland are the pirates. The Indian chiefs and uh, they have different cultures. I'm talking about the Western cultures. The Western cultures see pirates are more above uh, in the Native American thing. So I'm leaving it at that particular thought. Even in other adaptations, the Indian, the Native Americans were never exactly mentioned. Let me see. The only adults on this on in Neverland pirates. Pirates are known for various uh, felonies, various things of ill repute, like theft, like theft, kidnapping, ransom and things of that nature <coughs> then we look at Peter Pan in most adaptations of Peter Pan Peter Pan looks like he is in his late teens yes he does he's supposed to be looking like an effeminate boy but guess what? There are some boys who mature who don't get their chest hair or any sort of other facial hair, you know, you know a beard, arm hair, or or hair in other places of the body until they're they've you know they've grown up. They've done the whole. You know, the chest thing. They've got the. They've got the abs. They look like a a male adult that is shaven. But yet, they their hair hasn't come in until it could be until they turn when they get hit twenty one, then the hair starts to sprout. I've actually seen that in. in Four of my of four of my friends. Won't say the names, as I respect their um, hormonal privacy. Let's put it that. So let's get to the back to the point at hand. Peter Pan, a late blooming teenager, could be 17, 18, 16, 17, 18 around that time Captain Hook comes around but well, you see Captain Hook an authority figure Peter Pan literally bait is this is like a bait and grab instead of saying look kids I've got candy for you See the beautiful candy in my hand? Come into the van and I'll give you the candy. It's a bit too... It's a bit too... 
uh, that way a lot of children know about Cook saying, ah kids, come eat my candy. Arr. He looks mean and nasty and all that stuff. But if you get someone who looks really young, who looks a lot younger, looks unfit on the more looks more like a child, looks more innocent than a child would look up, would just say, Yes, I'll be with this person because he he looks like he won't do he won't hurt me. But how many let me see this how many before Wendy and her brothers, how many boys, how many children let me just put that down has Pan taken off to Neverland? You see, the concept of Neverland can be classified as a breeding ground for pedophilia. There is just so much stuff wrong with this image. The only adult is someone of a na of nasty reputation. The hero literally brings children into that uh, into that nasty environment. But then but, but now we're gonna say but Rhino what about to uh, hook saying he hates Peter Pan and he wants to kill him because of the, the because of the fact that he took the 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 crop bit his hand bit Hook's hand off and he's been revenging he's been wanting the revenge over his missing hand for years. Haven't you heard of disciplinary measures? You see Peter Pan does it he still does his job but with a little work incident. Let's see. Someone could have broken off free from Hook, escaped Pan and Captain Hawk happened to lose his hand whilst trying to recapture that child. And Pan happened to be in the same location. He sees Pan. He sees his hand. They put two and two together and get 58. He says, I'm going to kill you for what you've done to me. Now that is more of a logical thought. Oh well, I'll leave it there. And as always, peace, keep safe. Bye.